Welcome back to another video. Today, as I stated in my last video, I'm going to be making ice cream. We decided that we're going to make a maple bourbon candy bacon ice cream. Did I get them all? Maple bourbon candy bacon ice cream. Yeah. Right. So I have all my ingredients set out here. Um, everything has been chilled for quite some time. My candied bacon, I actually just put brown sugar, bacon, and I stuck it in the air fryer. I coated my bacon in brown sugar and I put it in the air fryer. And that's pretty much all I did. And then I just cut it up into little bits and look how delicious that is. So I have some maple syrup, vanilla, bourbon, heavy cream. I forgot one more ingredient. And that would be? The sweetened condensed milk. Now, I've never made ice cream before and it's my first time trying this recipe. I'm gonna include this recipe down in the description down below. So since I don't have a ice cream maker, I'm gonna try this no churn recipe. I added a bourbon to it. That's pretty much the only thing that I added to it that wasn't part of the recipe, but I'll include the recipe down below. Now, I've been keeping my bowl, my mixing bowl and my whisk cold in the freezer. That's exactly, that'll help a lot. Cause we're gonna make some whipped cream first. The whipped cream, it'll get it nice and firm and stiff. So we're gonna add that to the mixing bowl right here, as well as my vanilla. And then we're gonna get this going. I'm gonna go to about soft peaks and then I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. So as you can see here, my whipped cream has already started to thicken. So now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna add my bourbon and I'm going to add my maple syrup. Sure. I hope the flavor of the maple syrup comes out. Like I said, guys, I haven't never made this before, so I don't know if it's actually gonna come out the way I expect it to. So I'm gonna give this a little whisk and then I'm gonna add the sweetened condensed milk right after this. Well, it's all a learning process. Yeah, it's all a learning process. I'm pretty much like making this up as I go. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty good. I got all the ingredients mixed in. Now I'm gonna add my final wet ingredient and that is my sweetened condensed milk. My sweetened condensed milk is in there. Now I'm gonna beat the cream until it turns into stiff peaks. This is pretty creamy to me. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna take it off of the stand mixer. Mmm, that's really good. Try it. Yum. Oh yeah, bourbon came through. So I'm gonna add about half of this candied bacon. I'm gonna add half of it and then the other half, I will sprinkle it, I will sprinkle it in the top. So we're gonna fold it in just like that. That looks really good. I could eat it just like that actually. So now we're gonna have bits of bacon on the inside and we'll have it sprinkled on the outside. Look how good that looks. You can actually put more bacon. That looks kind of chintzy. No. I'm gonna put it on the top or should I just put it all inside? Put it all inside. Yeah? Because you want it inside, you don't want it. All right, so the peanut gallery says I should put it all I should put it all in and that should be fine as well. Either way, we're gonna be eating the bacon no matter how we incorporate it into the ice cream, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add it here to my loaf pan. That looks like gelato kind of. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is gonna be like a gelato consistency. Can I lick the bowl? <laughs> yes, you can lick the bowl. So I'll leave you a little bit there so you can like. Also guys, we're gonna have a guest coming over in a little while, John's friend Ariel. So. This is for you. I'm just gonna smooth out the top here. This was actually pretty simple, easier than I expected it to be. And do I just put it in the freezer like this? I've never uh, made ice cream. Yeah, just put it in the freezer. Or let do it... I have to put uh, foil or um, plastic wrap? I'd put, I'd put plastic wrap. Too. All right, so he's saying we have to wrap it up with some plastic wrap, which I guess that kind of makes sense. When you buy ice cream, it's covered up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this. All right, into the freezer it goes. And how long do we wait? Uh, I guess until it freezes up, maybe like an three, hour, three or four hours. Yeah. All right, guys. Also, in today's video, we're going to make some homemade mac and cheese. Another recipe that I've never made before. I've never made an actual homemade mac and cheese. I usually always make like the box pre-made mac and cheese. But today I'm going to make the real stuff. So I have my pasta here. I'm going to use some medium shells. We're gonna add just enough water to cover all of this. So I'm trying a recipe that we saw on YouTube. I'll link it down below. I think that's good. All right, so we're gonna let this boil until the pasta absorbs the water and the pasta is cooked. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. These are the ingredients that we're gonna add. So we happen to have Swiss and Gruyere cheese. We have some Gouda, we have some mozzarella. We need two cans of evaporated milk. We have some cheddar cheese and we have some cayenne pepper. Also, another secret ingredient is mustard. Now this particular mustard is from France. I bought this on one of my work travels. Some salt and some pepper. 
So it, as you can see, most of the water has evaporated. Now we're gonna add our evaporated milk. So we got one can of evaporated milk there. So basically we doubled the recipe. So I'll post it down below. I always like to tweak my recipes. If you guys see something that you don't see in the recipe, that's why. I tweak them to do my own little thing. It looks pretty watery. Is that normal? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this come to a simmer and then we add the cheese. All right, so it's now at a simmer. We're gonna add our cheese. I already added some salt and pepper. You pretty much just add it to taste. Start off with our cheddar, shall we? Ooh. Okay, next we'll add, should we add the rest of this mozzarella? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just let's just, just add, toss in the cheese. Let's just add all this mozzarella in there. Why not? Throw it all in. We add some Swiss and Gruyere. Why not? Whoa. Let's just add half of the bag. Add some Gouda. Ooh. Gouda is one of my fave cheeses. We'll eyeball this and then if we need more cheese, we'll add more cheese. Goodness, look how creamy that looks, guys. Yum. All right, guys. As you can see here, we ended up adding uh, the rest of the cheese. So we've used all the cheese that we had. It's going to be the highest calorie, fatteningest mac and cheese I've ever had in my entire life. Nah, it's not that fattening. It's Look at stuff. this. Oh my goodness, it looks so creamy and so yum. All right, we're gonna add our uh, secret ingredient. This mustard is pretty strong. I'm not gonna add that much to two, it. Two, two tablespoons. One tablespoon should be more than enough. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. That's enough. All right. Look at that. OMG, I'm so excited. All right, should I have a taste? Are you guys ready? What? Something's wrong with it. What is it? Like it's still too like liquidy. Let it thicken up. It's gonna thicken up as it sits. A few moments later. All right, guys. I just served myself a bowl of mac and cheese. It is much better now. You're supposed to like let it sit for a little while, and then it ends up thickening up even more. I also added a little more seasoning, so now it is really, really good. Look at that. Mm mm mm. A little hot still. Mm. -mm. Amazing. I'm having a little bit. It's really good, but we we're both noticing it's a, it has a little bit of like a grainy texture. And what we're thinking is that might be the caking agent, the what they put on like cheese that's already grated that you get in a bag. So it's one of the things they mentioned why you should actually just grate your own cheese, um, so it doesn't have that anti-caking agent. And that might be it. Right? Well, other than that, it has a good, good flavor. Other than that, yeah. Other than that, it's really good. Um, it's really it, creamy. Super creamy. Yeah. I mean, you can't really tell, but it is really creamy. I'm ready for that ice cream, though. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna describe it the way he did. <laughs> How did you describe it? I don't even wanna go there. It's like a marshmallow that expands my mouth. <laughs> It's very soft, so it's not hardening for some reason. So when I went to Ireland, remember I told you about their soft serve ice cream? It was like whipped cream, mm -hmm. frozen whipped cream. That's what this is like. So it's like frozen whipped cream? But Whip. denser, whipped cream. Whip cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> it's really good though, otherwise. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can taste the bourbon, right? So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's kind of soft-ish, right? Mm -hmm. I like it. All right. Oh, and that bacon, that saltiness came through. Yeah. Very good. Do you like it? I, it'll get hard. I like it. I need another scoop. Okay. Another scoop? Yeah. <laughs> so the ice cream was really good. However, it was like a very, it was still like very whipped creamy. Cause he, it hasn't set. It needs like 24 hours to set. It was in the freezer for like six and a half hours. Like how much longer does it need? It really does. You really need to leave it overnight. takes a while for ice cream. I, when I used to start making ice cream back when I had a machine, um, I would get impatient and think, oh, it's been in there for several hours. It should be fine. It was still soft. I just thought because we don't have an ice cream machine that this would be the best way to do it, <laughs> but apparently not. It's, it's one of the ways, but it was actually really good, especially when you taste when the bacon. And the bourbon mm. comes out really quick. It's like, I think I put a lot a lot of bourbon. Yeah, originally when, when he did it, was, it was fine. I was like, yeah, I taste the bourbon. He's like, I don't taste the bourbon. I was like, I taste the bourbon, but he wanted more. Yeah, so I think I added like too much. Maybe, I think I added like three tablespoons. I would put two tablespoons. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed our little one day little uh, cooking vlog. Let us know down below if you'd like to see more of these cooking vlogs. We have some cool videos coming up this week. We're gonna be trying that thing, what, what but thing? I'm not telling you guys about it just yet until it comes out. The Wait, do I know this? Oh. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. <laughs>